Hello and welcome to this SAP S4HANA video. This presentation will drive you through product highlights of the most recent SAP S4HANA 1909, shipped in September 2019, which is the fifth release in a row of SAP's Digital Core. I'm Yannick Pedaschmidt from SAP S4HANA Product Management, and it's my pleasure to guide you through these sessions. Note that pricing and commercialization related information will not be covered. Here's the legal disclaimer as the content of this document is subject to change. We will go through three chapters in these sessions. First, release strategy and transition insights. Second, we will review the key innovations per line of businesses. And third, we'll cover the key innovation per industries. So let's start now. We begin with an overview of the release and maintenance strategy for SAP S4 HANA. Here are the key things to know. First, SAP is shipping one on-premise release per year. Second, there's a mainstream maintenance of about five years for each release. Third, the shipment of innovations for on-premise goes via feature package. Four, support package are delivered during mainstream maintenance. And five, customer-specific maintenance is possible when mainstream maintenance ends. We've added the key links on SAP S4 HANA restrictions. Make sure this is known by your implementation team. Next, SAP S4 HANA is not the legal successor for SAP ERP offerings like ECC6 or Suite on HANA. So move from an SAP ERP system to S4 HANA is a transition scenario and not a classical upgrade. So we have depicted here on that slide three transition scenario. First, the system conversion for customers who want to move from the current SAP system to SAP S4 HANA and want to adopt innovation step by step. Second option is a new implementation, a new implementation of SAP S4 HANA to replace a legacy system or for a greenfield installation, including SAP S4 HANA Cloud in a possible two-tier ERP landscape. And third option, that's the middle piece here, is the selective data transitions, which is a partial reuse and partial re-implementations. Here you might, for example, have a combination of standard functions used for the new implementation or system conversion together with complementing expert functions which are not released to general availability. SAP S4 HANA is designed to be the digital core of the intelligent enterprise. Before getting too detailed, I'd like to talk about intelligent ERP scenarios in SAP S4 HANA 1909. It's all over the place, sourcing and procurement, manufacturing, finance, sales, etc. There are the three principles that define intelligent ERP and ultimately provides a hand-free ERP whenever possible. First thing, a digital age user experience. Here we will continue and extend the usage of SAP Fiori, coming now with the new Fiori Quartz theme, and this consistent, consistently for all business innovations covered in these sessions, and wherever meaningful, including new fields of technology like conversational design. Second thing, next generation processes, rethinking the way business gets done through the smart junctions of technology and innovation. In this release, we have new processes like the new predictive material and resource planning. And three, automation, leveraging machine learning capabilities and robotic process automation in the standard ERP processes. We'll cover a few scenarios in this video. We bring innovations in all lines of business. You may recall that many of them are available in SAP S4 HANA Cloud already, as we have one code line for all S4 HANA deployment modes. In this presentation, we'll show selected innovations. The entire overview is in the What's New document published on the SAP Help Portal. We will start with innovation in the line of business finance, with group reporting, integrated financial planning with SAP Analytics Cloud, advanced intercompany matching and reconciliation, universal allocation, contract accounting compliance with risk-based IFRS 9 reporting for value adjustment, advanced financial closing integration with ACP S4 HANA Cloud. On the first one, group reporting. Companies typically face several bottlenecks in the group close process, which delays the time to close the book and report the financial results. The new 1909 release of S4 HANA for group reporting addresses two of those hurdles, intercompany reconciliation and matrix consolidation. The second innovation in finance was 
financial planning with SAP Analytics Cloud. What is different in there today? A financial plan is no longer a standalone exercise. Operational business drivers impacting the financial performance are more and more included in an end-to-end -end planning and budgeting processes, or simulation exercises as well. Hence, it is key to provide not only the necessary integration between the financial and non-financial information. Let's now move next to manufacturing, where players face challenges in inventory, in process automations, or adoption of IoT to stay relevant. I'd like to pick up two innovations related to the material requirement planning, MRP, and production executions. Using simplified MRP logic, and thanks to the speed of SAP HANA, this development supports interactive planning with simulations, considers top-level demands such as product forecast, derives component and capacity demands on all the level, and much more. The goal of PMRP is to benefit from lower inventory levels due to buffer levels that are appropriately sized. Further on MRP, we have enhanced functionality for the material planners like overview of plan orders, real-time information about proposals on the stock requirement list, better integration of the DD MRP materials, possibility to detect unneeded supply elements. The quota arrangement splitting is used in MRP to distribute procurement proposal among various sources of supply. This feature is now also available for high-performance scenarios in SAP S4HANA based on SAP S4HANA optimized coding. A few words on integration in manufacturing. We deliver various APIs, especially for discrete and process industries, to handle the integration from application on SAP Cloud Platform and, of course, external system, for example, third-party manufacturing execution system, enabled to access business objects related to production planning in SAP S4HANA. And now, last one on production operations. Now it's possible to manage the order changes at any time during the manufacturing process and handle issues more effectively by making ad hoc changes to a specific order. Let's move now to asset management. And for this line of business, we have a new SAP Fiori app for the maintenance of the cost analysis. This app supports monitoring and evaluating actual costs resulting from current maintenance orders. It enables to analyze the actual costs for materials and labor in maintenance. One easily identifies the maintenance activities leading to the highest costs, and altogether, this analytical list page offers you multiple possibilities to evaluate actual maintenance costs stored in the universal journal entry. Going now to SAP S4HANA for extended warehouse management. We've, extend, we've integrated extended warehouse management into S4HANA Core with the 1610 release. The supply to manufacturing from warehouse process comes with 1909. When a production supply area that is relevant to extended warehouse management is created in production planning, it is then automatically replicated into EWM. This feature is only available for extended warehouse management embedded into SAP S4HANA and improves both the supply to manufacturing from warehouse process and the profitability. Moreover, in SAP S4HANA for extended warehouse management with this 1909 release, you will have the complete visibility on the stock, racks, boxes that need to be loaded to root trains, the support of business processes for just-in-time supply of components to production supply area with the fulfillment by warehouse operations, high quality on on-time delivery of components, and stock which is handled and transported efficiently and in line with the company procedures. Moving to transportation management now, we integrated transportation management into the core of S4HANA in the 1709 release already. Several enhancements to improve the logistics execution processes or to enable shippers to efficiently interact with their service providers come with 1909. For transportation management scenarios that are initiated from a sales orders or subsequently from the deliveries that are created for these sales orders, the freight cost of the freight orders can be taken into account. Available to promise, short ATP, determines if the required delivery quantity can be met on a required delivery date. It is used in supply chain management, manufacturing, and fulfillment. 
With the new 1909 release, note that the key innovations in ATP are additional check on product allocation, which is based on capacities after the product availability check in advanced ATP, automated confirmation handling by supporting the re-evaluation of alternatives in the back order processing, a new ACP Fiori app release for delivery to increase the visibility of the constraining factors, supporting stock transport orders and offering flexible workplace refresh functionality. Let me now present one intelligent ERP use case based on predictive analytics for the inventory management area. This innovation monitors and make time-dependent investigation of the slow or non-moving materials in your stock. Based on these results, you can react immediately with follow-on activities such as scrapping or stock transfers. Non-moving materials represent a combination of locations and materials where the stock level is not zero and non-consuming postings were posted in a defined period. It is also possible to track slow-moving materials. This app supports your daily work, for example, as an inventory manager, to achieve the maximum inventory accuracy and subsequently to optimize the stock inventory situation. On to quality management, where uh, rigidity and too much theory is often reported. We are introducing a new app, Management and Monitoring of Defects. This app enables to view and manage defects using a simple interface that also includes a chart, a navigation to view contextual information related to a defect, is supported for providing you with the flexible works list and comprehensive filters criteria that are adjustable, table columns. You can then display contextual information about the defect, and you have a straightforward and intuitive user interface. Last but not least, you can make use of a graphical representation of the defects. Moving on to R&D and engineering, where today's challenge is to reduce time to market of product and accelerate product innovation. Recipe developers need to consider multiple aspects when creating new formulas or adapting existing ones. To achieve faster time to market, Recipe developers need an easy way to observe the impact of a change in the formula, including the changes in the composition, nutrition, and costs. With 1909, we enhance flexibility to adopt the display of information, bringing the most relevant information directly to the developer and moving secondary information to the background. In sourcing and procurement, it's often about managing supply risk inaccurate data, and dark purchasing. He would like to highlight two intelligent ERP cases. The first on conversational voice interfaces and machine learning together with ACP Cloud Platform. ACP Cloud Platform calculates the confidence level for the approval of purchase requisition items based on this transferred data. Confidence level is a percentage which is calculated based on the already approved or rejected purchases requisition items. Using that percentage, users will judge whether or not to approve purchase requisition items. The second intelligent ERP scenario enables automation of purchase requisition through the configuration of standard rules. This innovation allows to define rules to automate the assignment of a source of supply and for creating purchase orders for purchase requisition items. In sales and distribution, Workflow for sales documents play a central role, and now we have this with the new release. The key benefit of this enhancement is to increase the Salesforce efficiency by providing the workflow for sales quotations, for sales orders, and for credit memo requests. It is now possible to display and manage approval workflows in my inbox. In addition to that, you receive workflow notification during the approval workflow processing for credit memo requests to the new approval status for sales documents. The last line of business we will cover is environment, health, and safety, with challenges that arise from workplace like unsafe working conditions, material handling, and more. The focus in the 1909s release was to decrease environmental risk through enhanced handling of specified emissions with innovation like simplified data maintenance by reusing chemical and facilities master data, 
enhanced support for specified air emissions for the chemical products, or improved calculation usability for waste, water, emissions calculation. Since our very first ACP S4HANA release, some industry capability went directly into the core of S4HANA, so they can benefit to all the industries. Let's have a look at the 1909 release industry enhancement. We start with utilities, where regulations, grid infrastructure update, and IoT integration is top of agenda. With ACP S4HANA for utilities product simplification, we are reducing the time to market for new commodity products by automating the manual steps required for billing master data setup in S4HANA. In this way, utilities product managers working with tools such as ACP, Commerce Cloud, PCM, to define new commodity products in the one central place. Once defined, commodity products are seamlessly distributed to the billing system ACP S4HANA IS utilities for billing and to sales systems such as SAP Commerce Cloud for the online selling. The next update for industries is on the redesign of the Venture Bank. As background information, S4HANA requires new asset accounting, customer vendor integration, and the new GL. Now, with 1909 comes the new joint venture accounting, JVA, Universal Journal Data Model, that will replace JVA special ledgers, tables, and brings three advantages. First, single source of truth for JVA reporting using the Financial Universal Journal. Second, a central finance document split to help ensure consistency and eliminate the need for reconciliation. Third, real-time insight on finance venture and venture partner details for internal and partner reporting. We'll close the industry chapter with retail. The retail industry is plagued with customer loyalty challenges, an ever-changing customer expectation, and of course, a global digital disruptions. In retail, radio frequency identification, RFID, has been on the immediate horizon for the last decade. The first innovation is leveraging RFID to ease the transfer of goods between the different show floor. Second, in production planning and detailed scheduling, PPDS, we now provide master data maintenance capabilities for parameters needed by PPDS. You may assign a planning procedure to each article assigned to a specific distribution center needed to plan in production planning and detailed scheduling. Now that we've closed the line of business and industry update, let me talk briefly about the next step and your transition to SAP S4HANA and then overall where to find more information on that product. The journey should start with the SAP Transformation Navigator, which is a self-service tool to give customers in all industries and across all lines of business clear guidance to start their journey to the digital core and the SAP S4HANA world. How does that work concretely? The products currently in use are the starting point to define the future ACP S4HANA centric product map. Businesses are changing and need new capabilities to run digital. ACP Transformation Navigator reflects your business priorities and IT strategy in concrete recommendation, including the transformation services integration and of course the impact on your license agreement. Where to find further information? Well, the key assets are all mentioned here from the trial system to roadmap details and further information to plan your own digital journey. This should equip you for the next steps, which is to understand the value of S4HANA for your company. And of course, we are happy to support you in this endeavor. Now you've got an overview about the highlights for SAP S4HANA 1909, the digital core and foundation of the intelligent enterprise. We've covered the main themes of the product, as well as the key lines of business and industry highlights. Thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for our next SAP S4HANA product update.